how to put video inside text in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can also utilize this technique with white logos as well. Don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see other Premiere tutorials like this from me. We're gonna go to the titling tool. I'm gonna go here and click inside and I'm just gonna type the word cool in. And just a couple tips on your labeling here. This normally works better if you can use a bolder font so more of the video can shine through. What some people may not know is if you were to go to your essential graphics here in the window, then go to edit, and you have all these parameters here that you can work with, such as aligning it to center, which it looks like it already is. Another way to do that is to move around and then on Mac you hold command and then you'll see these red things pop up. And notice how as I go towards the center, for some reason, I mean, that doesn't look centered, but I think that's just because of the kind of type that I'm using. Once we have the title where we want it, I'm just going to make it bigger. Scroll down here, scale it up. Cool. Cool as coolly does. At this point, we want to go to the effects panel. So if you hit shift seven, click over here and type in something called track mat, this track mat key, we're going to drag it onto our clip. The key thing here being we want it to look at track number two because that's where our text track is on. So video track number two and boom, isn't that cool? One thing to keep in mind with this technique, notice how we're referencing video number two. If you were to move this up one, you're going to get something like this. Now it doesn't know what to reference because it is on track number two. If you were to move it up one more, then you would get something like this and things get all haywire. So if you do move it, you would have to readjust this to the appropriate title. Another neat thing about this technique is it's not bound by text. What you're really bound by is whatever you want to put in there that's white because it's matte alpha. Let's say we want to leave a thumbs up on the video or, uh, so we can use this little Photoshop file that I have right here. This is a thumbs up PNG. Pull it onto track two. And uh oh, looks like it didn't do anything. By theory, it was supposed to only have the thumbs up here. Well, let me tell you what's going on. We're going to go back to our effects controls and it's doing matte alpha. Because this file has black and white, we need to tell it what to look at. Sometimes you got to mess with which one works. We're going to switch this from matte alpha to matte luma and boom. We got a big thumbs up on the video. Speaking of, if you would like to leave a thumbs up on this video, that'd be awesome. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want more content like this. If you are having some trouble within Premiere Pro, I love problem solving all those problems within uh, video editing. I'm at Javier Mercedes X on Instagram. I try and get to all of my DMs. Hit me up on that. Till next time, live a life of abundance, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.